Hey guys, so today I'm going to give you some advice on whether or not to buy vintage magic cards. Now I'm making this video probably a week from now or a week ago. And I really am looking at the stock market a lot. And I have liquidated a bunch of funds. I have got shed liability. And I'm no longer that interested in picking up my 1000 dual lands. Uh, it sounded good in theory, but uh, when practice, there's just too many scams going on right now that it would be impossible because I would have to rely on online buying. And currently, that's just not feasible. Um, the eBay scam, the eBay, eBay scam really frightened me where an Asian dude sends his Black Lotus because he got scammed again from a Misha's factory. I don't know if it's the same person or a new person. Uh, and I cannot imagine, I mean, that's 10,000 plus what, f two? Like, what's a Misha's factory go for nowadays? Who knows? It probably is different. Whatever price I'm going to quote, it will be down when this video is aired or goes live. That scares me, and I think that should scare a lot of people. Um, I think overall, um, it is not a good time to be holding on magic cards. It is not a good time to be holding on to magic cards right now. If you, if you have them and you can quote stay the course as Alpha Investments says, yeah, because you you're being you're selling into a buzzsaw mar market right now, and the fact that Channel Fireball, Card Kingdom, Star City Games is no longer buying a lot of the vintage and older stuff, you know, I I never thought the day that they would stop buying beta. I mean, they're not even posting a price for an alpha or a beta underground C, which is like one of um, in in my opinion, one of the more desirable cards um, that are is reasonably more reasonably priced are an Alpha Mox. You just don't see it happening very much, and because of the current trend, I'd much rather have stocks and bonds. Now, will things get worse? Yeah, the news is that supposedly a hundred thousand people are going to die. In the U.S., that's a lot of people. 100 to 200,000 is what that doctor said. And that's pretty scary because we're at 2,000 now. So he's saying that it's going to be 50 to 100 times the death rate. Like, that's, like, that's insane to me. We're panicking at 2,000. We're like in full tilt panic. And the dude, the leading doctor, is saying that, hey, we're going to hit 200K. <laughs> In depth, so I was like, "What the blank?" You know, and at that point in time, you're going to. I mean, at that point in time, you are kind of. I mean, magic cards will be the last thing that you care about once if two hundred thousand people die, because uh, that means like it's probably likely that someone you know. Right now, it's very likely that someone you know, not, I'm not talking about a famous person, I'm talking about like someone, especially you live in New York City, New Jersey, Los Angeles, uh, is affected by, in, by the coronavirus and outbreak. And then if it hits 200,000, that's going to be like, oh, whoa, hold on. That's how many people have been, quote, infected. Now, those are the people who die. Like, that's, it's just so crazy. Um. I don't know. You have to look if you really want to play this game of the stock of uh, MTG Finance. Play on the stock market now because th this is a great opportunity. Or I don't know when the bottom is, and maybe we already hit bottom when the Dow went under twenty thousand. Again, I'm making this video a week in advance, so I don't know if at this exact moment in time that's being uploaded that the Dow is below 20,000 it could be at 30,000 who knows because it's so volatile every day it goes up five or goes down 10 or goes percent I mean this is like incredibly a crazy time and 
man, like everyone's saying, oh, I'm going to buy magic cards. I'm going to buy. No, you blanking idiots. Like you can buy stocks and bonds. If you think the market is going to crash, if you think we hit bottom, the last thing I would be doing is buying magic cards, right? I would be buying the liquid stocks and you can make serious amounts of money right now if you know what you're doing. But at the same time, you can lose serious amounts of money too. And I know the casinos are all closed, but it's almost kind of like a gamble, like, because you don't really know. Every day it goes up five or it goes down five or percent. And we're talking percentiles. These are daily percentiles. And people want to mess around with magic cards at this time. It's just so insane. Now, if you're like Alpha Investments and you can buy for 10% of retail, duh, it's a new no brainer. The, the card is not an, a um, unlimited mox or unlimited Black Lotus is probably not going to be less than $2,000. So if you can buy a unlimited Black Lotus worth that recently was worth ten thousand dollars for two thousand, I would do that all day because that that's like you. How how are you going to lose money that way? It's the same with that dude who wanted to sell who sold the uh, foil uh, PSA ten or BGS ten. Um, what was it? Yagamir's ho Hollow or Powder Keg. And powder keg, he wanted to sell it to me for seven fifty. He eventually sold it to Rudy for three fifty or something, less than half. Yeah, at four three fifty, it's a good deal. I would have bought it at three fifty, but I'm not offered that same deal. So when Rudy is telling you bye 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 bye, it's because the deals he gets is better than anything you or I could ever hope to dream of. So if someone's going to sell your black lotus worth ten thousand dollars or two. What is there to discuss? I mean, just buy it. Um, but eventually, that's going to come back and bite you in the ass because um, right now, people who have to sell are very desperate and they're going to get angry. Desperate people are angry and Alpha Investment has already talked about, oh, he's getting late shipments and gaming. It's only going to be more. And I don't want to be in that marketplace if you want to make real money, please, please do not buy magic cards. There's better opportunities that, as we show, seen are much more liquid. Magic cards are not liquid anymore. Power 9 is not liquid anymore. I don't trust eBay. TCG Direct is shut down. And as of now, the buy list is haven't recovered or the buy list have been taken down on a lot of the Power 9 cards and a lot of Alpha and Beta. Like, it's just so surprising. I never thought I would see the day when Underground C Beta was not on a buy list from one of these stores because it's such a great card. And it's like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, out of all the cards that I would want, that would be the one I wanted. I really don't care about Moxes and Power 9, but you know, the top of the top dual land. So much utility in that card, right? Think about all the things you can do with your brain. Man, this is such a crazy card when, and no one even wants it now. Crazy. Um, people are going to get desperate. Desperate people start scamming other people. Just like criminals. Criminals scam magic players because it should be pretty obvious that we don't really have a background check policy. And... Even if we did, would we care? How would you even control it? Because it's the buyer. It's not like you can do a background check on on the, every buyer that bids on your thing, right? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I think the days of uh, vintage magic cards being really expensive and out of reach for most people are over. I think it's long and long. And if you truly were good at MTG Finance... Why the blank are you not playing the stock market now when it's so vol? You know, you have swings of up to 10% every day. It could be a down 10%, of course, but it could also be up 10%. And I think these swings will only be more and more volatile. Hold on to your money. If you have cash, that is the number one asset. I know for the most part, like, I don't like having cash in my bank because it's not generating very much. And I mean, interest rates right now are just really, really bad. 
Um, but because the value of all the assets are going down, including real estate, real estate is going down. I mean, there's so many better investment opportunities. than magic cards. There's so many more liquid opportunities than magic cards. I cannot see as long as Channel Fireball is not selling magic cards. I mean, they are quote selling. What are you selling? The um, Magic Fest thing, Majigs for online, and maybe that's a the model they go with. But in that case, they don't need paper singles, right? I mean, they're <laughs> or boxes. That's digital. They just send you some sleeves, a promo card, and a like, playmat, I guess, and take your 180 bucks. Things are really weird now, but I what I do know is true is that you should not be holding on to magic cards and thinking, are you, I mean, Rudy can buy, because like with the powder keg, with the Yagamir's heart, let's say that retail it's $1,000, and that's what you would pay for it. The guy offers to me, because he knows I'm a store for 750 or 700 He gives it to Rudy for 350 Yes, Rudy is going to make a ton of money. I can maybe break even under the current conditions, but that's not good for me because my break even point isn't even that great because I could put money in the stock market and hope to do much better. But for the majority of people right now in the current prices, people are asking, unless you can get a really great deal, like, hey, I don't think it could possibly go lower than this price deal. Like you would be surprised. Oh my God, I can't believe it was this price. If you get one of those deals, go for it because that makes sense. But be very careful with your cash. The worst case scenario is you run out of cash. In that point, you're going to have to sell that magic card that you just bought for even less money to someone like Rudy for 10% of what you paid for. And that's the game. Bye, guys.